In this step in the construction of the flying machine, we're going to build the strap-on booster pods, uh, which are shown here. And these are designed to fall off, so they're, they're rigid on the rocket until the nose cone comes off. And once the nose cone comes off, they come flying off, and they have uh, a very cool effect in the sky. So I'm going to show you how to build those. Get those out of the way. Uh, we're going to start with the uh, body tube with the slots in it. Um, and then from the parts, find the wooden support. And this will get glued into the slots like this. Now, it will only go one direction. If, it, if you put it in the wrong way, it's going to hang over the edge. So that's the direction it's going to go in. Uh, I'll just use wood glue for this. And this is just like gluing on a fin. You want to use the glue very sparingly. Otherwise it takes too long and it keeps falling off. You get glue on your table when you're in a hurry. <laughs> now you don't need it on the tabs. Um, but you do need it on the flat bottom part. Okay. And then just, oops, I got some glue here on the edge. You only want it on the bottom. And then press it into place. And then press it in from the bottom side too to make sure that it's on there good and tight. Now I'm going to just let this sit for a minute and I'll come back to that. I'm going to put a glue fillet on it, but I want to allow that to dry for a little bit before I do that. So while that's drying, I'm going to take the green centering ring here. Where's my safety glasses? There they are. I put everything on the floor. I really need to get a table back here. Um, we're going to take this green centering ring and we're going to cut a notch in it. And there's two of these because there's two pods. So you'll do each of these steps twice. And we're cutting a, a notch in it. And we're going back and forth. This is kind of like what we did with the main body tube. So you get a little notch right here. And that is for the shock cord. So you're going to take the shock cord and remove the little plastic tape. And we're going to cut this in half because this is going to go for two of the strap-on boosters. So just line up the ends, stretch it out, and see that little loop there? Just run your knife through there and just saw back and forth until it cuts, just like that. So we're only going to need one of those, one for each of the strap-on boosters. So just keep that next to you. Um, then get the white tube, the little short one, and we're going to mark this in two spots. Okay, so let's see, let me do it this way so you can see it on the camera. So this is two and three quarter inches long. We want to mark it at a half inch, and then again at two and one quarter inch. So basically a half inch from both sides. Okay, and then on one of them, we're going to plunge the knife in to make a slot. And this is for the engine hook. Okay, I've got my engine hooker here. Um, you can see that this is crimped on both ends, and one end has kind of like an S hook to it. The uh, end that's just an L shape, we want to stick into the motor tube like that. Now there's a, you're going to get another green ring. Now this one does not have the notch you just cut. And we're going to slide that over the end of the tube and it's going to get glued in place by that uh, mark that we did made earlier. So smear it around and then slide the ring in to glue like that. And I always, I always wipe off the excess. It creates a nice little fillet. Okay, 
nice and tight. Okay, the little blue ring gets glued inside of this tube right here. Um, and it gets glued right up against the, the tang that goes on the inside. So it's going to get glued in there like that. Um, did I bring a doll? I didn't bring a doll, so I'll use my um, knife as a dowel. So I put some glue in there, and I'm going to take a dowel, and I'm going to smear it around, and it's right in front of that, that tang. That comes through, then this is going to go in there like that and push it down right up against that hook. Now on the other end, if any has oozed out, take the knife or your dowel and smear it around again. See, I got some excess there on the knife. And there's a little bit more in there. A little bit too much, you can always take it out. All right, just like that. This is a lot like building the uh, engine block or the engine mount for the main tube. Basically the same process. So then the, the shock cord, and this is the skinny shock cord. We'll get tied to the tube. And then we're going to take the ring Stick the shock cord through the ring, lay it into that notch that we cut out, and then slide it up over the tube like that. So now it's laying, oops, it didn't, it didn't stay in its notch, it's okay. There it is. So now I can slide it back and forth. Okay, now this. Um, ring gets glued right at the end of the tube. Just smear it around. And then slide this up into it. Wipe off the excess glue. And we're going to push the shock cord up against the ring, nice and tight, all the way around. And then we're going to glue it down against the tube. Now any glue that's on the outside of that green ring, you want to wipe off and you want to do it really quick because you don't want that drying, because uh, otherwise it's going to make it really hard to slide this green ring into the tube here. So I'm going to let this dry. So while that's drying, I'm going to go back to this part here, and I'm going to put on my glue fillets. Again, this is like doing a fin. We're going to beat a glue on both sides. And then we're going to take our finger and we're going to smooth it out. And you can see I pulled off a lot of glue off of that side and do it on this side. And that paper towel is getting pretty saturated with glue, so I'll grab another one. I'm just wiping off the top surface there. Okay. So I got a glue fillet on both sides. And we're going to set that aside and let that dry. Okay, so now we have two things that are drying, but through the miracle of video, this one I did earlier and it is already dry. And this tube right here is already dry. And I did the same glue fillet on this as I just did on that one. And you can see that um, it sucks down really nice. It, it shrinks, so it's really tight on that tube. Now this, this end with the open slot is the front end. And this other end here with the little notch on the wood part is the back end. And that's the end that this gets glued into. But I want to take the shock cord 
and run it out the back to keep the glue off of it. All right, now this is going to get glued in here like this. Now, there's a trick here. Let me just double check. Okay, so now the, the green ring is going to be glued flush with the end of the tube and the engine hook is going to be on the opposite side of that piece of wood right here. Okay, it's going to be like that. So that's how we're going to glue it in. And like we did before, I'll take that blade out. I'm going to use this as my dowel and it's got to go in that deep. About that deep. And that's where I'm going to smear the first ring of glue around. Okay, and put this in part way. And then I'm going to put glue on the inside of the tube so for the other ring. And this one gets a little messy. See, I'm walking. Every time I, I put glue on, I move this around. So I keep as much glue off the tube as I can and keep it the glue where it's supposed to be. Okay, so remember, the hook is on the opposite side of the wood part right there. And then wipe off any excess glue. Alright, so I'm going to let this dry. Um, and then in the next video, we'll put the nose cone on and the streamer on, because that goes pretty quick. So, uh, my name is Tim Van Milligan. You're watching the Apogee Rocketry Workshop. And this is building the Flying Machine Model Rocket Kit, which you can find here at Apogee Components. Um, over here off to the side, we have other videos that I'm sure you're going to enjoy. Uh, this is part of the series, so in the next step, we'll continue the construction of the flying machine.